Big returns and a faction comeback on last night's Raw. We got the latest plans for the Royal Rumble. And a major SmackDown star getting ready for life after wrestling. So lots of happenings on last night's Raw. We'll kick off with the return of a faction that we've been waiting to oh. get back together and didn't think it was going to happen. MVP teased it, and it's actually bloody happened. Woo! Uh, the NWO back yeah. together like that. Uh, hurt business. Back together. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm really excited about this. Um, yeah. we, we were all sad when they broke up because it felt just very, very premature for them to break up at the time that they did. Totally unnecessary. It was, right? wasn't it? Yeah. And it's weird that like Bobby's dropped the title and now almost immediately back together. His friends they, are back. You know what? I think to me that suggests that the thinking was that they wanted Bobby to look super dominant without yeah. the help of his buddies. That's which a, actually I mean, is quite nice. It's a good, it, uh, yeah, that's a good way to put it. I never really thought of it like that, but that, uh, I mean, yeah, he's got to look like a dominant champion, and he did. He did for the time that he had the belt, and uh, but now it's time for friends to get back together. Oh, <laughs> like we that. We just like the hurt business yeah. in every single way. <laughs> um, so tell us what what went down there. So uh, so yeah, so last night during the WWE title match, we had Biggie and Lashley. They were back battering each other, blah, blah, doing all these fisticuffs and all that on outside. And, uh, and, and you know, Biggie's outside and then the Hurt Business are there. You, you see Shelton Benjamin and Cedric, Cedric Alexander wearing Hurt Business t-shirts. They're just stood there, they're like, whoa, ref, we're not touching Biggie. Get back in the ring, Lashley and, uh, and Biggie, Biggie are brawling. And then all of a sudden, Kofi and Xavier come out. They're battering guys in Hurt Business. We get DQ finish, bing, bing, bing. Uh, bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Bing, 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 as Brian Madondi would say. And, uh, and yeah, Bobby Lashley is smiling. We get some fist bumps. They're back together. Uh, that's back lovely together. Stuff. So no sign of MVP yet. Obviously, he's just undergone surgery. Mm -hmm. He's expected to be back in four to six weeks, but that was last week. Three to five weeks. Very exciting. But that's not the only return last oh. night. Keith Bearcat Lee uh, issuing, a, sorry, answering an open challenge mm. from Akira Tozawa. It didn't go especially well no. <laughs> to young Tozawa, did it? But he's back. Uh, he's he's gone with the the nickname um, that he used on a dark match dark last match, yeah. week. Um, so it's it's cool to see that they're going ahead uh, with that. He's looking very dominant. We don't mm. really know if he's babyface or fe uh, feel. <laughs> feel? <laughs> What's a feel? feel? <laughs> uh, heel or tweener or, or what. He, it was a dominant mm. performance, but he didn't like say anything. We didn't, no, we didn't he get literally any more there. came out, batted Tazawa. That was it. Looked very angry. He looked oh, mad. Mm -hmm. He was very <laughs> smouldering. I don't know. <laughs> he looked mad. Uh, he's got some new gear. It's got yeah. like the tears on it. It says bear cut on his trunks and everything now. Too. Uh, I just hope we see more of him on, on TV now. Yeah, me um, too. Me too. Yeah. But to me, he wasn't really a guy that needed freshening up. Not in the slightest. I don't know what the thinking is. I don't know. I, I like I, the Bearcat name. I, yeah. I, I like. I, I, I think that, that's kind of cool. It's paying mm. tribute to uh, Edward Wright, um, who was... Uh, like in the in the fifties, um, a really really uh, popular babyface, mm -hmm. um, despite uh, despite being black uh, and helped um, sort of with segregation and mm -hmm. uh, removing segregation the, the, in wrestling, which yeah. is is amazing. But he got massive massive um, cheers despite the despite the color of his skin back at that's a time awesome. where that rarely happened. Yeah. So that's a really cool tribute. Um, to be to be paying for sure. So yeah, good luck to Keith Lee. Yeah, Hopefully they, they they properly get behind him this mm, time. I hope so. I really do hope so. He's grand. Um, finally, <gasps> Goldberg appearing via satellite, um, who promised to hurt Lashley, and if he was lucky, uh, Goldberg said that he would kill him. Uh, this so. was fantastic. <laughs> this was fantastic. All leading off from when uh, from when Lashley attacked uh, Gageberg. Even though, in La in Lashley's defence, Gageberg jumped on his back and Lashley yeah. didn't see it. So Lashley's just like fight or flight, you know, someone jumps on your back, you're gonna get him down, aren't you? You're gonna lock him in her yeah, yeah. get him down. So really, Gageberg is in the... Is, <laughs> I love that. Is in the wrong here. So I agree. Bobby Lashley, batter Gageberg and Goldberg, please, both of them. You know what? I'm glad that this isn't happening for the WWE title. Yep. That's that's cool. Yeah. It's a one on one match, and if Bobby Lashley goes over, fine. Fair it's happening enough. in Saudi yeah. Arabia. It's not been formally confirmed yet, but it was reported by PW Insider mm. that that is the uh, the idea for the build. Money, money, money. Um, uh, so yeah, expect to see Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg there. Um, moving forward a little bit to next year, the Royal Rumble location has been confirmed. 
Where's it going to be? It's going to be at the Dome. America Center in St. Louis. There you go. Ooh, Don't big really one. Know. Is that a big one? That, oh, yeah, it's apparently, it says here, look at this, noted in a press release, WWE, that it's the largest venue to ever host the Royal Rumble. Oh, wow. So I See, I don't like... know anything about US. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is, that, is that a big one? Uh, but, well, apparently so. It says it here, There Adam. you go. It is big. That is that is a big venue then. Mm. So uh, get your tickets when they go on sale. I don't know what else to say about that. I love the Rumble. Saturday, which yes. is cool. Yes, that was even Really, better, really happy it? about so that. Cool. Cool. Like, I love that because it means that it, it, a lot of people obviously you aren't going to be working on Sunday. Sorry mm -hmm. if you are, um, but it gives you a bit, a bit of a day to yeah, relax. You can recover. celebrate. Yeah, especially we, for fans like internationally, we exactly. can stay up super late for it. We cool. can we can celebrate when Xavier Woods wins the Royal Rumble. Yeah, he better do. Yeah, I'm saying it now. I've been saying this. I want to see a nice friendly match for the WWE Championship between Xavier Woods yeah. and Big E. What are you laughing at me for? <laughs> Night, just a, a nice, friendly a nice match. friendly match. Uh, okay, yeah, it's not going to happen, is it? No. No. Uh, and speaking of locations, AEW Full Gear location has been confirmed. That's taking place in the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Woo. Uh, about a 19, 20,000 capacity. Mm. Uh, I know that much um, about it. Uh, it. It was. Um, it was originally going to take place in uh, in St. Louis, Missouri, mm. um, but it got moved because of competition from UFC and boxing, and oh, they decided to all the rubbish fighting, yeah, all the fake, all the all fake fighting. Give us that real stuff. Pathetic. Uh, and uh, Seth Rollins now uh, appearing on Broken Skull Sessions. It's you know what? It's well worth a watch. I had it on in the background yesterday. Yeah, and. Um, he was just really cool and laid back and like really, really enjoyable to listen to. He seems like a nice gentleman. He just seems like a nice... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, on that, on that, on that, that on that, yeah, sometimes I, I see it, I just think like... Because he's come across pretty bad in interviews before. Yeah. Um, and he, I don't know, he just seems... He always seems to me like a bloke who would be not that much fun to hang around with. <laughs> Maybe, I guess so, actually, yeah. Maybe now that he's a papa. So Becky ditched the, be the dead weight. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> get with a real man. No, he was alright. He was cool. He was cool, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, and it, the, there's, um, he made comments on how long um, he's got left uh, on his WWE contract. He did. What did he say? He said, my goals as I've gotten older in the business, I've checked off a lot of boxes. Now, as a dad, part of me is starting to shift a little bit. I have a couple of years left on my contract. I definitely want to see that through. And that, we'll see, uh, after that, sorry, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I wish I had a proper answer because I love it, but life is starting to get a lot bigger when you've got a little baby girl. And when my contract is up, she'll be about three or four and ready to go to school and do stuff. That's cool, isn't yeah. it, actually? Bless him. Like, yeah, I, I, I think that's fair enough. I think, you know, with a lot of wrestlers sort of becoming parents, you, maybe priorities finally start to shift a little bit for yeah. them. So, yeah. I mean, like, he, he, he won't need to do it anymore after that, that few years left on his contract. Mm. Like, he's he's been in the main event scene for a long, long time. He's mm -hmm. probably financially set for life. Yeah, definitely. But he's also super passionate about wrestling. I don't think that we'd see him just no, at that no. point. That, we we never see wrestlers just finish at that point. No, no they, they always literally, come back. Yeah, right? they, they always do come back. Uh, but yeah, Seth Rollins, it's... It, it, He'd have nothing else to do. With no, it. he'll turn up somewhere. Swing his hair about. Head swing his, swing his hair his, about. His lame, swing shouty his, music. He's kid about. Whoa! Are you all right? No. <laughs> and finally, speaking of kids, uh, Ronda Rousey is a mum. Isn't Yay. this lovely? Uh, Andrew it wants to swing it about. <laughs> it's, it's there on my notes. She said she's given birth to a, a baby girl, um, uh, announcing the arrival on Instagram. Um, and that's. That's lovely. I'm not going to try and read it. I was going to say, do you want to try and pronounce the name there? No. Uh, it's uh, La 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 Key. Ma this is just racial sense. Yeah, uh, it's paying, not. Paying, paying homage to Travis Brown's Hawaiian roots, of Amazing. course. Uh, if you know how that's pronounced, please let me know in the comments. But sending all of our love. Yeah, definitely. To Rhonda and Trav, and also to Seth, who. Uh, it's a lovely gentleman. <laughs> it's a lovely gentleman. Right, that's us. See you in a bit for some more news. Bye bye. Bye.